Hello, 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 beautiful people of the internet. Welcome to another stream um, with me. My name is Andrew. Um, I use he, him pronouns. Uh, and we're here today with the makerspace of Hill Library of NCSU. Um, what was it? And we are coming at you live today. Wow, my glasses are getting fogged. Woo! What was it? If you see that, it's because I'm wearing a mask and this is what people, this, this is what happens to people who wear glasses, unfortunately. What was it? Hello, audio Oh, I'm, gl I'm good to hear it. I'm, good. I'm glad to hear of it. What was it? This real mask wearing with glasses, correct. Um, by the way, big shout out to my mod today. What was it? Love them so much. They do great work, big props. What was it? They're gonna be in the chat today. So if y'all, what was it? If y'all are watching, um, go say hello. What was it? They'll probably be, will probably, they'll probably say hello back. Um, to which I say, hi mod. Um, let's see, what else is up? What else is up? Um, so the point of every stream that we do like this is A, because, it was it one, primarily because way back when in the fall semester of 2020, whenever COVID was happening and we could shut down the makerspace because of social distancing policies, uh, we, was it we started this we started our twitch channel and started streaming like this just so that we could uh have like an impromptu office hours just because there's a lot of people that, that came in here not just for our e equipment but also for the people who work here like me to make like a, ma a makers makerspace technical student employee what was it assistant um we have skills of some not to not to sound like over dramatic but like we're good people to talk to about things like what your project is and what if you're at a point where you're struggling how to how to what was it what you what would be a good suggestion to fix things etc 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 um so this became a way for us to communicate with the ncc community um while things were still down but also what was it, while the questions roll in um, and the questions don't have to be about projects specifically. It can be about the libraries um, or the makerspace or the VR department. Um, and myself and my wonderful moderator today is going to be able to answer, what was it? Oh, by the way, my mod threw down the link for the full schedule of finals week live streams, what was it? Which is coming up soon. Well, I mean, it's this week, what was it, by the way? So just, if you're interested, Take a look um but also this is also sort of a thing of make sure to take care of yourselves especially this time of the year what was it it's i know it's tough for a lot of people um myself included but take care of yourselves however you can um so with that out of the way um the second point of the stream is to show off what we can do here in the makerspace um and so last time we were working on something really cool. We were working on the S we were working on an SVG file for was it to plop into our brother PE eight hundred embroidery machine of the DuckTales logo. Was it I don't know if y'all noticed my um DuckTales reference um in the title. Uh what was it? If y'all do if y'all do remember what was it if y'all do know what the reference is, what was it? thrown in the chat because I'd love to see another DuckTales fan um but it's always been like a, a thing of mine I don't know it's always been like I've read the comics since I was a kid so I've always been like kind of nuts about the show um especially the remake so we created the logo um and we're gonna embro embroider it today hopefully but we're also gonna do a little bit of messing around today and seeing if we're gonna be able to get satin stitching done um, on the digital design because that would be ideal what was it hopefully hopefully um so anyways we're gonna go over to the screen share what was it and i'm gonna be working at inkscape um it's a great program we've talked about it a lot on previous streams but long story short it's a free digital design program similar to uh It's similar to, how do I say this? Uh, it's similar to Adobe Illustrator, um, and it does, was it, except it's open source, and it's also free, that's a big thing for us, honestly. 
uh, but it's really great. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, let's see, where's the landscape? Here we go. Okay, so now let's do. What was it? By the way, my mod just threw down the link to the my link uh, the link to the chat or not the chat Inkscape um, Inkscape Inkscape's website um, in the chat. So if y'all are interested, go check it out. What was it? I highly recommend it. If y'all are interested in doing digital design programs like this or working with CNC machines like the digital embroiderer or like even the laser cutter, etc., um, it's a great it's a great resource. Um, so this is what we have. Uh, what was it? I'm gonna go in and just move this a little bit just because it's annoying me how like sharp it is. Like that. See, that looks better to me. Um, what was it? And I am showing y'all the screen share. I, I'm double checking because I have been known to just do things without ever showing y'all because I forgot to switch things on my end. <laughs> um, what was it? But enough about this. How are y'all doing? What was it? Tell me how y'all, tell me how exam week is for y'all. What was it? Because like, I haven't had exams yet. I'm, I've got my first one in a couple days, but like, it's, it's like, it was an exam week is stressful for all of us, you know? What was it? I mean, I assume so. I don't know for sure. What was it? Y'all might, what was it? I don't know. There are some people like my roommates, they're just like, you know, I don't really got to study for exams. What was it? I've watched the lectures, so I'm just like, I'm good. And then they get hundreds on the exams and their tests. And I'm like, what? Your first is tomorrow, but it's going to be great. Yeah. What was it? Heck yeah. What was it? We're throwing up positive vibes into the universe, and the universe will respond back. Hopefully. What was it? What was it? What's your first? What's your first exam next week? Or not next week? In the next couple of days, not. I think I have a, uh, what was it? Just imagine that in two weeks it's summer. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. What was it? I am so excited. I've got, what was it? I have so many things planned for the summer for me to like distress and deep and like to relax and like let some of the air out of this balloon, of this metaphorical balloon that's like ready to pop. What was it? Your primero examen es para español. Oh, so Spanish. Okay, great. What was it? That's awesome. What was it? Uh, I think my first, I think my roommate's first exam is Chinese. What was it? To which I say, good luck to both of you. <laughs> um, what was it? Because I've never really been great at um, oral exams, specifically like language testing oral exams. What was it? Uh, learning high school Spanish and what was it? A little bit of Korean and a little bit of German was enough for me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, exclusion? Nope, not the right one. Division? Nope. Incorrect. Mm, let's see. Path intersection? 
Oh, incorrect. Ooh, German. Yeah, what was it? There was a point in time when I was, like, semi-interested in German. What was it? Just because we were... I had, uh... Was it a trip during high school where we went and visited Germany um, for a little bit? Beautiful country. Um, and... That was mainly it. <laughs> I don't really have enough... I don't really have more to say. Well, once, once the trip was over, my interest in German was also over. <laughs> um, what was it? And admittedly, I'm learning a little bit of ASL from my roommates now, which is turning out to be a little interesting, um, just because... Oh, God. Hold on. Let me see if I can do the... If I do this improperly, I apologize. This is me trying my best at it. This is... I'm, I'm learning. This is, like, me being complete, like beginner level what was it of like a b c d e no no e no i forget what he is what was it and then f g g h uh, mm. what was it what was it? I've, I've learned I've learned a couple letters. What was it? I can, you can do your name, but that's it. I want to learn more. Yeah, see, that's what I want to learn too. Um, I want to learn my name. What was it? Because even though my understanding is that of the sentence structure um, and the grammar for you know, I memorize the whole alphabet after watching like two YouTube videos. I wish I wish I had that kind of mental memory. That'd be great. What was it? Also, the physical dexterity. My fingers. What was it? Because I was doing it with my roommates last night. Like. They just got very tired of like the stretching and bending and how important body slash facial expression is. Yes, absolutely. What was it? And like, the thing is, it's not like with English where like the letters, well, okay. So yes, there is like a one-to-one -one, like English, it's ESL, it's the, or it's ASL, it's American Sign Language, but also, uh, what was it? So it uses English quote-unquote as its like base but like it's weird in the sense of like it's or it's different in this it's not weird it's just it's different in the sense of like my understanding is like uh, all the words that you have don't necessarily make up all of the um aren't made up of individual letters like apple is you know a p p l e what was it and that's how you spell it um but whenever you sign apple uh, which I think it's this. I don't know. What was it? I could be wrong. Um, it's like that is not the case in which you like sign out A P P L E individually, um, which makes sense because you know, what was it? Speak. You can't speak in American Sign Language, um, so you have just a completely new word that you have to just learn. So it's very like vocab based, and the way questions are done is really yeah, definitely, definitely because there's a lot of like, it's just a lot of. My understanding is that like a lot of the of how things are phrased, and the intention behind them is not clearly stated. It's more of a context thing. Or is it? I mean, like, it's not like uh, how do I phrase this? It's was it? There isn't a clear. There isn't a definite. Um, like, with questions, you have a question mark. What is it to ask? Uh, but with ASL, you don't have, like, a single sign that denotes that the previous phrase was, a, was part of a question. You just have, like, body language question mark, if I remember right. What was it? I am not an authority on this, so I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm, what was it, telling y'all how things are? Uh, but I just think it's interesting, um, so far. What was it? And especially, like, what was it? My roommates were talking about this last night, of how, like, when you're talking about, like, scale, like, if you're saying that something is, like, really big, you just m sign it, but bigger. Um, so, like, with, like, more exaggerated gestures slash motions slash body language which i think is just like really 
I don't know, I think it's definitely very interesting. What was it? And um, I'm definitely, like, really interested in watching, like, I've definitely gone down a couple rabbit holes of watching people do ASL sign language, or ASL, I don't want to say transcriptions, because I don't think transcriptions is the right word, but translations to for music, um, lyric, and, and, like, like for music's lyrics, um, like, there's a very famous one of an ASL translator doing Rap God by Eminem, um, which, if you're under the age of, what was it, if you're, if you're a minor, what was it, make sure you get your parents' permission to watch before you do that, but, you know, if you, if you do, if you can watch it, um, you'll, like, I recommend it, what was it, just because it's, like, a very wild thing to watch someone do. Yeah. Phooey. Okay, so I'm missing that's not what that wanted. That's not what that was. Okay, so I don't think this is going to actually let me do satin stitching, unfortunately. Which is a shame. You know, it happens, but it's also like, dang. I really wish it would let me, but I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to like it, unfortunately. So we're just going to try a couple... We're going to try a couple last... Um, yeah okay i don't think it's gonna do it shameful but we forgive <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's fair um yeah so i think we're just gonna do a we're gonna go back to the simple embroidery that we did last time and let me go ahead and show y'all um, oh good what was it obs recognize okay what was it so we did this last time. It's good. Everything is individual. It likes it. It will actually stitch, um, for lack of a better phrasing. Um, and then we're gonna first things first. We're gonna change some things because I don't know much. Else. I, I have to work in inches. I I recognize the metric system is better, like on a cognitive sense. I just. I'm too used to it. I can't. I can't get. I can't go back. You know. Um, landscape. I'm also gonna check the sizes. But oops. Um, what was it? Five by seven inch. What was it? So we're gonna see if we can find anything like that. You know. We're gonna go with, uh, okay, um, centimeters and I don't get along. You know how it was, you understand, you understand. Um, so we're going to put this here. What was it? Wow. Like right here. And then I think we can, what was it? I don't want to, I want to make sure that, what was it? I think one is going to be enough because, well, I don't think we, I think we could do two. I think it'd be pushing it. And I don't really love this. I'd rather do something simple. Um, to make sure that like. Quality over quantity, you know? Um, so, this looks good to me. There's a part of me that's like, should I go ahead and do the fill in black? It would look good. 
but I'm also like, leave it alone. Why do more? You know? I'm very curious about these things. What are those things? It's okay. Uh, nah, it'll be okay, I think. Probably. Was it? My only question is, how well is this going to turn out? You know what? We're kind of at a this need this needs to happen now situation. So we're gonna just. If y'all can't tell, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to these digital vector vectorizations. Um, so I'm gonna leave it alone. It's good enough. Um, and I'm going to file, or not file, uh, extensions, ink stitch, what was that? Embroider, what was it? Save it as a PS, fly. Okay, and it should look like this. I don't know why, but it's giving me, like, I don't know if y'all watched Phineas and Ferb as a kid. It's definitely giving me, like, like, Perry the Platypus, Platypus vibes, but Dex and Platypi are somewhat similar, question mark? They have bills. They both have bills, I think. Um, what was it? But basically, I, tra I transformed it um, from vectorizations um, into the embro into embroidery paths for the embroidery machine to follow using the extension, the ink stitch. What was it? You see it too? Okay, see, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not just like, I'm glad I'm not like hallucinating. You know? Thank you for the validation. Um, so now I'm going to file save as a PS file. What was it? Where are you? Where are you? Where's the PS? Are we supposed to be seeing the DuckTales logo or something else? No, 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 no. You're supposed to, you're just supposed to be seeing the DuckTales logo right now. Sorry. What was it? I'm taking a little bit with... Uh, it took me a little while to find PS. File extension and file explorer. Okay. So now that should be it, theoretically. Fingers crossed. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our overhead cam, which is still live. Yes. Good, 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 good. Um, and we're going to transition over, and we're going to take a look over there. What was it? Okay. Okay. Um, what was it? doing the things, you know? Hi. <laughs> what was it? If the machine says hi back, what was it? We, what was it? For the chat, who, who's not the mod or me, what was it? The mod and I have a deep personal relationship with this machine. We, uh, <sighs> 
we, we have an understanding. Um, but, let me make sure that the light's on. There we go. That's better. Um, but this is the embroidery machine. This is the P800. What was it? This is our baby. We say baby. I say baby because it is adorable and wonderful and also likes to overreact on us and go into tantrums and break and what was it decide to not do anything for the for a couple days at a time but it's okay we love it we love it anyways because it's family at this point and you don't give up on family um <laughs> what was it but i'm gonna stop babbling about the machine and first things first i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do some minor fixings because i already see something wrong with this machine as soon as I opened it up, which was, that's not, that's fine. It's okay. It happens. But I need to basically pop this thing up because whoever used it last time left a lot of blue loss on the bobbins rider for whatever reason. Um, I'm gonna hope that it's okay. It looks okay. Yeah, it was just blue box. Um, let's see. What was it? It's good as me now. Okay. First things first, we check the bobbin because you gotta check the bobbin. It definitely looks like it has enough thread. Um, what was it? Next things next. What was it? I'm pretty sure that we're gonna start off with the orange. So I'm gonna pull some orange. This is a very interesting orange hybrid, but it's okay. Orange yellow hybrid, but it's it's okay because I think it's like a good nice color. What do y'all think? What was it? I think I think it's a good color. Um, and so we're gonna do the one thing that I know how to do, like just without, like that I know I can do in my sleep, so that I so that I have the knowledge that I've done something with this machine and it hasn't failed on me before we get to the parts that will make me want to cry. Thread threaded. Um, and you know, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn it on really quickly just because it'll do a diagnostic check whenever it turns on. And I want to, and if there's something wrong with the machine, I want to fiddle with it now rather than later after I've struggled with this hoop. Because it's always the most annoying part. Oh, 
Huh, someone was doing a dog. Okay, interesting. Okay, so it looks like it's okay. Uh, no, we actually did. I forgot that we have an auto threader and I might have threaded it wrong. Hold on. What was it? Because I've been working with the, I haven't actually worked with the machine in a hot minute. Give me one sec. Yeah, okay, it was threaded through the eyes and needle in the wrong direction. Um, so it was threaded this, or it was threaded this way instead of this way. Um, so, good thing I did that. <laughs> but um, it looks like it's good, so I'm actually gonna unplug it for right now. I'm gonna put it to the side. And we're gonna struggle with the rest of this. So this is the hoop. What was it? Um, this is what we're gonna be throwing our canvas into. And so, you know, this is actually a really good size piece. It's a little big, actually. This piece of This actually would be a good size. Uh, you know, inch. So you want like roughly, I don't know, an inch, an inch worth of margins on all sides and all directions of the hoop. Was it whenever you're using, whenever you're throwing any kind of, any piece of fabric into the hoop, just because it's annoying. That's it. That's it. I don't know what else to tell you except it's annoying. Um, so, we're gonna go like so, and then we're gonna cut it off here. Let me grab a fabric pencil really quick, just so I can make some quick marks. And then I'm gonna use some scissors, of which I hope I have them. Well, I don't, but we have this rotor cutter, which hopefully is super sharp. Ah, it is sharp. This thing is much sharper, sharper than I usually give it credit for. What was it? But that is done. That was way quick, quicker than I usually do this. Um, and now comes the hard part. And I'm going to angle the camera so you don't have a better view of this. Um, so it's like a sandwich. Make sure that we see Russian nesting dolls on the sides. Like so. Down, and then we put this down, and then we just squeeze it inside. Actually, we're gonna put it a little bit to the top, top, just so that it's equal. And well, bam, we pulled it through, but that's not true because now we have to do the hard part of making this as tight as possible. And what was it? If you have two hands, or if you have, if you, the more hands you have at the point, what was it? And I mean, like, you know, the more people you have to help you with this, the better. This is not something that's like, you can do this, like, I have practice doing this was on your own, but if you're just starting out, it can sometimes help to have just someone hold down some of the corners or some of the sides because they get intense. 
because you're trying to get this as tight as possible. And that can be tough. Ugh, I've got this. Thanks, Ma. I appreciate it. The encouragement. Oof. Okay. Time to go a little tighter. What was it? And I'm just tightening it here. Um, right here. Be careful that you don't pull out the top hoop while you're pulling out the fabric because that's what the fabric tends to like to do whenever you're stretching it out. Okay. And then squeeze, 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 squeeze. You know what? I'm actually going to grab. We have these nice little embroidery kit things, couches that usually tend to have. Here we go. Yeah. Um, a screwdriver meant for these, meant for the hoops inside. And they're actually meant so that you can get some more. Topness on the hoops. What was it? So that's good. Um, and then I'm actually going to go ahead and just let me get a little bit hotter if possible. This is as far as I want. I think I want to go. Um, let's see. Okay. So, this looks good. Well, a good way to test is I'm actually going to bring this over to the mic really quick. Um, and I'm just going to flick it with my fingers a couple times. Well, it should sound like a drum, which it does. Thankfully. So I think we're good. Um, let's see. Is there anything I'm missing? Oh. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the rotary cutter again and cut off the end bits just because. I don't want any pieces to be. Um, I don't want it to, for the edges, or the margins to like, get caught underneath it whenever it's sewing, or whenever it's stitching. What was it? So I'm just cutting off any pieces that might get caught underneath. The sound of success, correct. What was it? I will say I'm proud of myself because, I don't know, a year ago, I could not have done this in like 10 minutes. It would have taken me a solid 30. Um, and my coworker, my senior coworker at the time, what was it? Had done this once in front of me. What was it? And he had just. He did it in less than five minutes. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? That's wild. Um. He was just telling me it's practice, and it feels good to see that all just pay off. Well, to hear, I suppose. Okay, that looks good. Let's just do the bottom really quick. Okay. 
good. I'm just going to put stuff away. Um, okay. Do some a little bit trash collecting. watching my roommates have dragged me into cooking a lot what was it and they really like french cooking so this they were talking they were what was it they were trying to explain to me a couple times about this idea of mise en place place which is basically the idea of if you keep your workstation clean uh what was it your kitchen should be nice and tidy and orderly then your working is going to be nice and tidy and orderly um and efficient was it? Which I think is like a nice idea. Okay, so now I'm just gonna plug it in. What was it? And this time I'm actually gonna go ahead and situate this nicely and worry about the camera afterwards. Well, is it to save? The file onto. You need to put, what was it, the suspense? Yeah, there, there definitely is a lot of it. Um, let's see. Great, okay, so now that's done. And theoretically, whenever we plug this in, You know what, I think I'm actually going to size, I'm going to make this bigger. 
a couple times. By the way, are you are y'all able to hear me okay? What was it? I know that I'm like a little bit far from the mic right now. I just wanted to double check. Oh, by the way, this is what I've been messing with over here. This is the screen. Um, it looks good to me. I'm just gonna reset it because I think the original size is good enough. Um, let's do edit n embroidery and let's put that down and let's just have it go. It looks really good so far. <laughs> Come and go. It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, well, I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest. Well, is it? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be sitting here for a while. Like it's gonna be a hot minute. While this thing goes, because there's nine thousand stitches and so far we've hit uh, a thousand. So we've got eighteen minutes left on the thing. What was it? So now it's a good time to start talking, I guess. What was it? Would y'all, was it, do y'all want to talk or do y'all, do y'all want to just hear the machine? Because, like, I'm going to be honest, it's great. What was it? It's also, like, what was it? I'm also a little thirsty, so I might just let it go for a little bit and just, yeah, I might just let it go for a little bit and grab some water. What was it? I'm going to be right, I'm going to be right back, y'all.
Hiya. Long time no see y'all. Okay. I am back. What was it? Um. So we're currently at. Let's take a look. Oh, the numbers are flipped for y'all, but we're we're currently at minute 15 out of 18, so we got a couple more minutes left to go. Um, I really don't know what to do. I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all. <laughs> I've been enjoying the machine at work. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna be totally honest. What was it? Um, because I came back a couple minutes early and I just I sat there and watched it. Really nice. I'm gonna be totally honest. Cause like some of the stitching is a little whack. I'm not gonna lie. Like if we take a look, really like right there. Like. The stitching isn't perfect, so I'm not in love with it like I would like a satin stitch. But that said, it does look really good overall. Um, and it hasn't had a single like, whoops, uh-oh moment, which is yet, yet. I don't want to tempt whatever, I don't want to tempt the universe, but you know, it's been good so far. So I'm grateful for that. Um, so how have y'all been? Was, it's interesting how it did part of it like a satin stitch and part of it not. Yeah! See, my thinking is like, maybe the default is if it can incorporate a satin stitch as part of, as part of the normal default embroidery, it will. If it can find a suitable space for it. Like, for example, like with the... Um, Like right there, along the T, wherever there's um, a good chunk, was it wherever there's a good consolidated chunk? I feel like the machines, like I feel like the ink stitch and algorithm is like, let's do a satin stitch there because we can, because there's enough space for it. But I don't know. This is all just theory. This is <laughs> um. This is all just hypothesizing about things that have not yet yet to come. Um, but like, yeah. Um, it looks really good so far, regardless. I'm just so happy with it because usually things just tend to fall apart at this stage. And I'm very grateful that it has not. to say about this other than like I wish this was a satin stitch but it's okay that it's not um and I'm really grateful that like it turned out so well so tempted to just like is it going back over it in my couple of the parts we were that's that's true i think it is but i think it's going over the skeleton structure because like let me go back and show y'all oops uh yeah so if you see like there it did like a light um 
once over of the like of the underneath bit was and now it's going over the second part which admittedly if we take a look at it sorry for the shaky camera this is unusual territory um i think it's already gone over that bit that we were looking at the t at the top but now it's going over the rest of the letters um the tail well yeah the tails um It looks reversed for y'all because the cam because of the camera. Um, but like, it looks good. Um, and I think it's just going over the the first the once over it did for the entire the entire Ducktales words. Now, um, and so the only thing left really is just for it to finish up here and then to do the Disney. Which I'm a little worried about, I'm gonna be totally honest, just because it's a little yikesy. It's a little yikes because uh how do I say this nicely? It's small and detailed. And the machine doesn't like small and detailed. As a general rule of thumb. It likes medium sized and simple. Because it recognized that we have to. What was it? We can take a look really quickly. <clears throat> Whoa, it looks way better than I thought it would. Um, what was it? Especially like around here. Looks really good. Um, there's some parts, there's a couple gaps. Well, I'm not completely happy with it, but it looks really good overall, so I'm very satisfied by it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this really quick with some scissors. Um, just because loose threads are not enjoyable by most people, or by most machines. Okay, so now we're going to switch this out with a black thread for, for the Disney logo. Someone with the foot. What was it? And then I'm gonna wrap this up. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the black, which is somewhere here. it through the embroidery machine. Y'all have seen me do this the first time, so I'm not going to bother with y'all doing it, with making y'all watch me do it the second time. Interesting. Sometimes the auto threader doesn't like it. There we go. <coughs> um, and it's good to go. All right. It looks awesome. Oh, I'm glad to hear this. Okay, yeah. Cool is it? it? It looks really great, and I'm excited to see how it does on the Disney part now. 
let's scroll out a bit. Um, this will y'all have a better idea of the scale. It looks pretty good so far. I'm not ecstatic with this. Yay! Yeah, it looks really good so far. Um, so we're actually gonna go back a little bit. Like, if y'all can see this, like, it's legible, it's just not good. You know? What was it? So, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it go over. I'm gonna make it go over the black parts again, and hopefully it doesn't rip. That's the hope. Um, and hopefully the double stitching will just will make it more fuller. Well, is it, I think it'd be recognizable. If it, it's recognizable. It's just not good. So I think I'm gonna make it go at it again. And if it looks like it's about to tear, I think I'll just stop it.
second. It looks better. What was this? I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna let it keep going. You know, it'll be what it is. as good as we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna actually finish up with the black. Well, I'm gonna stop the black. Um, and just go ahead and finish up the orange. Playing the Disney intro theme music in your head. What was it? That's fair. I've been having the DuckTales theme music in my head this entire time so far. Um, and it should be finished now. Let's take a look. looks really good y'all I'm really proud of it I mean like look at this it's the DuckTales theme it's the DuckTales logo this is so cool cool is it okay yeah no this is definitely like one for the history books it looks amazing I'm so glad for this. I love this so much. Okay. We are officially done with this project. What was it? Yay! We can call it, we've, actually, we've, actually, we've actually finished something with this project. Am I gonna make something with this fabric? Uh, maybe. What was it? I haven't decided yet, honestly. What was it? I've been thinking this would be a good one to put on, um, I was thinking that this one would be a good one to put on, like, a hat or something. Well, is it, I can make a pencil case or something with this. You know, this reminds me, we were working on that, um, the, the bicycle bag the other day. This could fit on there, I think. It's a little big, but I think it could fit. As long as we did, like, a nice clean cut. What was it? You can show me how to sew a zipper. Ooh, yeah! I love that idea. 
What was it? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Well, I love all of these ideas that we are throwing out there so far. Let's see. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna assume that we're not doing any more embroidering today because no, thank you. What was it? Or because we are finished with this, we are done. Um. What was it? Okay. Yeah, right? Okay, 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 good, good, good. I'm glad that everyone agrees. Um, let's see. First things first. Mm. Mm. I'm a little tired. What was it? Um, let's disconnect this because I like machinery makes me want to see when we don't need it. Was it? I'm just going to tie this up real quick. Um, <laughs> you made me yawn. Sorry, what was it? It's, what was it? I forget that yawns are contagious. Um, we're switching over here just because I'm trying to think about what we're going to do next. What was it? Because I just realized the bicycle bag would be perfect, except it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, and the embroidery definitely would not be, and I could... What was it? And if I was going to use it, it would definitely, like... It would definitely be, like, a point for mold to, like, get in and stick. Is this where I was having you to work on? No, these are just embroidered needles. These are just embroidered needles. Okay. Good to see. Um, let's take this out of the hoop real quick. Well, was it? I will say, because we have some extra time today, today would be a good day to finish up sewing the, um, the bicycle bag, regardless of whether or not we put the embroidery on it. Woo! Y'all can actually see it this time um, in the correct orientation. It looks pretty good. The, well, was it? the lighting isn't doing it justice, but it's pretty awesome. Um... Okay, so I'm just trying to clean up because not not because y'all need to leave or anything, just because what was it? I need to make space for the sewing machine if we're gonna have it out um, for the next project. So I just I'm trying to tidy up a little bit to make space. Fun fact, the embroidery machine takes up so much space all the time. Well, that y'all would have no idea. Or y'all have a clue now, but like, it is intense. How much, how much space, I mean, it was space that we picked up. So I'm grabbing the Bernina while I'm at it. Ugh. Oh, jeez. And I'm moving this back here. And we're going to be swapping machines. Don't worry, 
I was an empty filament. I'm gonna move you back up here. Okay, we are back to working on things. I say this, but I need to go grab a power, a, a, little, bit, a, a little bit of power for it. Oh, I'm one back. And Allville got a very nice shot of my sandals. Um, okay. So, this is the Bernina, the beautiful lady that she is. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to. I always, well, I always hate like tangles and electrical cord. It's never my jam. So, thankfully, you know that this is done and dead. What was it? <laughs> All the pedals look the same, but they're not. This is very correct. What was it? What did I end up using last time? I used dark green thread. Okay, I guess that's what I used today. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and thread the Bernina. What was it? I'm gonna. This seems like a good way to show it. Show y'all what I'm doing.
let's remember what I was trying to do here. Uh, so we wanted this to be on the outside, right? And then we wanted... Well, we basically wanted some space for us to just be able to... out like so and be able to say hey we're done I think yeah yeah okay but if we if we just sew it this way that's not right if we sew it this way this isn't right so we need to do the inverse Okay, and I remember, which is why we did it like this. And then we fold it over like so. Yeah. I don't remember this now. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let's sew. I didn't do a fold over, fold over just because I wanted more space. And if I remember right, we have just enough space with my phone like this. And if we fold it over, we would not have more space. We would have too little space for me to work with. Um, so that's why I just did a simple one. And then I did a couple here. Let me let me get y'all real into the action. What was it? And I did, what was it? I went back and forth a little bit and reversed um, to make this end stitch really nice and tight um, and make sure that it wouldn't fall out. And then I need to go in and I need to just grab okay. What was it? I need to go back in and go over this end a little bit. Done. Okay. Um, I think with practice we should be good to go. What was it? Let's see. Oh, let me. 
So I inverted it, and now we're going to have to go look. can fit my phone, just barely, but it can't. Um, what was it? Well, bam. Alrighty. What was it? It now, it really looks a lot like a coffee holder, or like a cup holder. Um, you know? Uh, but it's okay. So, mm. I'm also going to do a much closer stitch to the edge um, for the canvas and the the waterproof fabric, just because I don't like how much how much margin there is. Um, let me show y'all right here. This is me being nitpicky because we got time. I don't like this margin, so I'm gonna just do another tighter stitch around the edge. Like so. that much tighter but it's it's a good margin what was it and I can be happy with it um, so like y'all can see just right there it looks pretty good what was it? actually let me lower the brightness for y'all because I just realized it's a little bright um, but yeah it looks good go ahead Grab some scissors. I'll be right back. I'm gonna snip off those threads.
So I am currently realizing I am maybe a little unsmart. Um, because I was putting things away. Ah, shoot, the, the scissors. Hold on. in my locker a pouch just like this one but bigger because we had more canvas to work with at the time what was it and it can comfortably fit my phone this time so <laughs> I don't know what to say about this admittedly it doesn't have what was it it doesn't have the waterproofing which is a nice touch honestly um, so I think that's what I'm still going to go with this but I really wish I remembered I had this. That would have been great. You know? But, um, yeah. I'm tempted to cut this up and use it as part of... See, I don't even know how... What was it? Because we have a pouch, sure. And I just need to work on the covering. As long as it like does that much, it should be fine. I mean, I guess this will be a nice. Yeah, it could be nice. Well, okay. Only problem is I don't have anything to stick it together. Um, so I don't know what to do with this. Oh, he's totally on this. Oh, oh. I mean, we still have lots of red fabric, so maybe that's the move. Because I can comfortably fit my phone, my keys. Pretty sure there's just so much space in this one. Yeah. Maybe it really there's just so much space in this pot in this pouch that maybe I'm like hmm I'm currently considering whether or not to change it up I really wish I had a button right now do we have buttons this is a solid question hold on we're all gonna go on a journey with me over there in the cabinets as I rifle through some art and crafts things and see whether or not there's any leftover buttons that I can steal.
any buttons that I can steal from my clothes? Tools. Sometimes there are loose ones in the sewing box. We might also have snacks in the sewing box. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Um, let me turn this tone. Put it down towards the side box. So y'all can see. What's it? Uh, screwdrivers, other pencil sharpener. Yeah. Is it that blue square of paper under the bobbin storage? The snaps? These are the snaps. What am I talking about? You are a genius. Also, we have Velcro, apparently. But when, why would we do this when we have snaps? Hmm. Well, this is a real question. I'll do it on this. I suspect it's going to take us a second. Let's grab some needles from. Who said we have needles? We do not have needles. I am supremely surprised by. What was it? Skills. Correct, mod. You have many skills. What was it? Including seeing things that I apparently <laughs> am oblivious to. Um. Machine needles because those are. What kind of sewing box is my needles? What was it? I don't know. What was it? But if you can find those needles, what was it? Sewing machines. I wish I'd known this. I would have been a couple long time ago. It's okay. What is this? I'm very confused. Yeah, it definitely would have been useful to put the drink three years ago. 
It's okay. We deal with what we have now. Uh, so theoretically, I could use machine needles, but I'm not going to because I feel like I'm going to break them. And machine needles are much more expensive than just like regular needles. Not much more, just they are a significant amount. A couple bucks. So I'm not going to risk it. I think what, we're, what we can say instead is that we had a very successful day today. And uh, we're going to just call it a day, you know? Um, whoa. Did not mean that. Did you check it out? Yeah, see, the thing is, we don't have other sewing kits. Whoops. We don't have other sewing kits. What was it? Yeah, we've had a really successful day. So I'm thinking, like, it's just a good place to call it um, a couple minutes early. Uh, just because I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, I mean, it's not that. We could talk, but I feel like we've accomplished everything. Um that we set out to do, and there's not much else that I really feel emboldened to do, or that I feel would be really productive. So we're going to call it. Yeah, thank you. What was it? I had a lot of fun with the embroidery project. I'm actually going to switch back to the person so that y'all don't get a very good close-up of my zits. Um, but what was it? Thank y'all so much for watching. This was an awesome project. This was an awesome day. We got a lot of things done today. Uh, I hope y'all have a great night. Um, and I, if y'all have finals, was it, or in the process of finals, or grading finals, good luck. Wherever y'all are. Um, and ho I hope y'all stay safe. If y'all have any more questions, please feel free to follow the link that my mod threw out in the chat. Big props to my mod. We love them so much. What was it? We appreciate them so much for everything they do. What was it? If there's anyone out there who can hire them, was it as an intern or something? Was it and pay them big, big bucks? Pay them all the bucks? Was it please? Um, and then have a good week, y'all.